Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi guys, this is Yazad. Thank you so much for being here today. Did you know that an estimated 10 million weddings take place in India every year? 10 million. Yes, that's right. They also generate revenue of over $40 billion. However, because of the pandemic, the industry sales fell during the last two years. Restrictions on movements and large gatherings stalled millions of weddings. But now as restrictions have been lifted, an estimated 40 lakh weddings are expected to take place from mid-April 2022 to July 2022. Now one can say that marriages are made in heaven, but the grandeur and extravaganza of weddings are definitely made in India. The Confederation of All India Traders says that it expects business worth Rs 5 trillion from these weddings. Multiple industries will get a good financial boost riding on this boom. In today's video, let us look at five companies in the listed space that could benefit from this massive spend. First up on our list, we have Titan Company Limited. Titan is one of the largest retailers of watches and jewelry in India. The company derives almost 80% of its revenues from its jewelry division. It sells jewelry through its brands Tanishq, Zoya, Mia and Caratlin. With the number of weddings set to jump manifold in the next few months, the revenue of companies such as Titan are set to increase. This is because demand for jewellery and gold jewellery will go up. The precious metal is considered auspicious. It's used extensively to make traditional jewellery. Besides this, it's also a popular wedding gift. Titan has already started to reap the benefits of this pent-up demand. The company reported a strong revenue growth of 31% year-on-year during the December 2021 quarter, riding on robust demand during the festive season. It also reported a standalone net profit of Rs 9.9 billion for the third quarter, up 135% over a year ago. Next up on our list, we have Thangamail Jewelry Limited. Thangamail is another jewelry retailer. The company is one of the fastest growing jewelry retailers in the state of Tamil Nadu. The company primarily deals with four product lines, gold, silver, diamonds, and platinum. The sale of gold is a predominant source of its revenue. With a revival in demand from weddings and an uptick in gold prices, the company's revenue is also expected to increase over the medium term. Its growth will be supported by the expansion of its net worth as well as opportunities presented by a large share of unorganized players in the industry. For the December 2021 quarter, Thangamail reported a 3% year-on-year increase in revenue. Net profit declined almost 60% as expenses increased. However, this is set to improve as the company has implemented various cost control measures. Third up on our list is Vedan Fashions Limited. Vedan Fashions caters to the Indian celebration wear market with a diverse portfolio of brands such as Maniavar, Mohe, and Manthan. It is well positioned to tap into the large and growing demand for wedding finery over the next few months with its strong brand franchisee. The Indian wedding and celebration market is relatively less price sensitive as compared to the casual wear. Thus, the company generates healthy gross margins of over 72% with no end-of-season sale or discounts offered on MRP. For the nine months ended December 2021, Vedan Fashions posted a 165% year-on-year growth in its consolidated net profit at Rs 2.2 billion. This is on the back of a strong operational performance. The company's revenue also nearly doubled to Rs 7.5 billion. The Indian wedding and celebration wear market is pegged at around Rs 1 billion with the branded segment expected to grow at a KAGR of 18 to 20% by 2025. Vidan Fashions is well placed to make the most of this demand. Next on our list is Raymond. The company is one of the leading players in the suiting business with a market share of over 60%. It is also the largest branded fabric player in the organized shirting segment. Since suits are a wedding staple, the company stands to benefit from the increase in weddings. Raymond has a track record of over 95 years. It also has a strong brand image assisted by a large retail network. It has a network of 1,420 stores 
and a dedicated retail space of 2.3 million square feet. For the December 2021 quarter, Raymond reported a multifold jump in its net profit at Rs 1.4 billion. Its revenue from operations also grew by 48.3% year-on-year. According to the company, it was the most profitable quarter in the last 10 years. It also generated free cash flows to reduce debt and is progressing towards being a net debt-free business. Finally, the last company on our list is Hero Motor Corp, the largest two-wheeler manufacturer in the world. Now, the upcoming wedding season is expected to give rise to demand for two-wheelers in rural areas, which are usually given as wedding gifts. This could boost sales of the company, which have otherwise been in a slump as the pandemic hit festive demand. For the December 2021 quarter, Hero Motor Corp's revenue fell 18.5% year-on-year on account of a weak festive season and the second COVID-19 wave. The company also reported a 31.6% year-on-year fall in net profit. Now, the management has said that the underlying demand drivers are intact. This should lead to positive momentum and volume support in the coming quarters with an improvement in margins. While Hero Motor Corp's core business still lies in the motorcycle segment, the company believes that scooters will lead the adoption of electric vehicles in the country in the near term. It has also indicated that its EV product launch plan in 2022 is intact. It will continue to focus on its EV portfolio, supported by new launches, variants at regular intervals. So should you buy wedding-related stocks? Now, if there is one industry that is not impacted by the highs and lows of the economy, it's the Indian wedding industry. Indians are known to spend lavishly on weddings, come rain or sunshine. Besides the typical wedding expenses on venues and wedding-related services, a large amount of money is spent on home repairs and paint jobs. There is also expenditure on jewellery, apparel, footwear, electronics, motor vehicles and various gift items. This makes wedding-related stocks extremely lucrative for investors. However, one must realize that demand for these products or services is seasonal. The revenue of the companies in this space may also depend on factors other than demand. For example, in November 2021, a jump in gold prices halted orders for the ensuing wedding season. Therefore, one must view wedding stocks with the same amount of caution as one would view other stocks. Sustained research must not be compromised despite the positive odds. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Happy investing. Goodbye.